Hello everyone and welcome back, Meet Department here. I'm so glad you can join me for another video today, guys. So I'm gonna show you how to get the new cosmetic pumpkin head, guys. Just like what's sitting next to me here on the hilltop here. So as you see, I got a couple cosmetics on. I got the red banner on, I got the little shark head and all that stuff. Well, we have a mini Halloween update in Giant Simulator. Everything is festively themed around with jack-o'-lanterns, spiders, webs, all kinds of cool stuff going on. I mean, they did a great job with the world. Now, we're not going to get an official Halloween event like we know in the past to collect all kinds of Halloween stuff, but this is kind of a Halloween event, and I kind of appreciate it. So, basically, what you have to do, guys, is collect 64 doors. Go trick-or-treating to 64 doors throughout the various worlds in Giant Simulator, and you will unlock the new cosmetic. Now, I didn't get it yet, so that's what we're going to do here today. I'm going to show you the best route basically how to get them all bulked up fast and we're gonna put a little counter on the bottom of the screen somewhere for you to keep track in case i go too fast you could pause go back and see what number you're on if you're following along guys so i encourage you to do that so let's go ahead and get started right now since we're in the castle there are a number of doors in the castle so i think it's best to probably start right at the highest levels leaderboard we're gonna go this way we're gonna take a right and start knocking on the door you basically just find doors and there you go i got xp in my candy bag and number one of 64 just behind my head there as you see so we're gonna go on you want to pay attention to any doors that might be around so here's number two right here that gave pearls wow number three right here that one just said boo but it's still counted we have number four right here on this house we're gonna keep on staying inside the inside ring so we don't lose track guys here's another one right here that was number five gave me pearls let's go ahead and track nope there's nothing else right there so keep on going around number six right here all you gotta do is click it guys number seven right this is seven that, that one gave me more pearls all right so now we're back at the highest levels leaderboard right so now we can go ahead and check the outside perimeter so that was seven right right there so let's go around look around a little bit now none of these are too crazy it's not like there's really any hidden doors so here's one right here it's obvious that one's number eight right there but you do want to look around because you see there's one up here you see that so this one is a little bit hidden but if you jump on top of this jack-o-lantern you should be able to get up there and go ahead and click it to get number nine it was a nice little scare saying boo we want to check behind the house because sometimes they are behind the house but that's not the case right here so we want to keep on going around the outside perimeter that is number 10 on that house and now we're on the back side, so we can see if there's any back doors here. I don't think there are, but there's skulls on that rock, dude. So here's this little round building right here. That's going to be number 11 right there on that one. And here we go. There's another door, number 12. So that's 12 doors already just inside the castle, guys. So I think that pretty much concludes everything for the castle right here. If I run around some more, I'm not seeing any more hidden doors so we're already 12 of 64 guys so i think the next area we want to actually go into is the egypt zone because there's gonna be a lot in the egypt zone guys for sure so now that we're zoned into the egypt zone let's keep track of where we are right here and let's just start by going to the right once you zone in once again we're gonna follow the same pattern staying on the outside and work our way in so we click on this one and that is number 13 right there guys we're gonna keep going down the path Number 14 is on this back house right here, and there's no more doors over here, but there is behind the tomb bosses. So number 15 is behind the tomb bosses, and then what we wanna do is jump up in here and go into the inner circle. There's a whole bunch, guys. So here's 16, 17, 18, right there. We have number 19 also in here, and also number 20 already in here, guys. We're gonna go ahead up, to, up the stairs and get number 21. Then we're going to jump down here, check the back alleyway. There's nothing here. So we're going to stay and go around and get number 22 right here. We're going to go through this way, and there's a little door on the side of the tomb boss as well, number 23. So we just cleared the first little quarter right here on the right. We're going to continue that pattern on the right-hand side, guys. Let's go ahead right here and get number 24 right here on this one. Then we're going to go to the back. Now, there's nothing inside these little covered areas. There's nothing to the side. So we're going to work our way towards the center and get number 25 guys now i checked this a little bit earlier there's nothing inside there so now we're going to stay on the the second half of egypt and continue the same pattern so there's a door right here that's number 26 there's nothing in there so we're going to go ahead and click this one right over here which is number 27 guys and then right across the street number 28 now we're going to go on the interior here and we're going to check things out there's nothing in the back here so we're going to go inside and check out what we have so Here's another one right here, number 29. 
number 30 right across right there then we have 31 and there's a couple doors right here there's 32 33 and up here is number 34 so you want to jump on this little guy right here right this little uh canopy thing and kind of try to jump on this uh this thing that's sticking out here if i could get it right there and then you want to jump on this other little canopy and jump over so you could go ahead and click that and get number 34. now head back because as you noticed up here is another one so you could simply just probably jump on top of it and click for number 35 guys now head on over and come on down we already got this one right here see come back again later we already got that one so keep on following this and get the one that's towards the entrance that is number 36 and then finally number 37 right here so that was a lot and there's one more i should say number 38 so there they all are inside of egypt as well we're already up to 38 guys we cleared the main castle we cleared egypt let's go to the cyber city because there's yet another a lot of them inside the cyber city guys we are getting a lot of doors here but we want to hit the ones that have a lot so cyber city is kind of crazy there's doors all over the place on the inside and outside so I think the easiest way for you to track these are to go inside Cyber City, head all the way to the end over here, and begin your journey first by doing the outside. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this one on the outside, and that's our 39th one. Now follow these doors, because you don't quite know which one's which. There's 40, it kind of just pops up. So follow it, that's 40. We have 41 right here, guys. Now there's no more inside this part until you get, I believe, right here. 42 is right here. And then 43. And keep following this because you want to make sure if a door pops up, you get it. That's 44. And 45. We're going to keep on following the walls. Like I said, 46. Stay close to the walls and you will find them all. Here is 47. And we got a couple more over here. 48. We have 49. And 50. Let's go a little bit in here and see if there's anything. Nope. There's 51 right there. Okay, so we got all the outside ones, right? Now, we want to check some of the interior stuff to see if there's any in here. So I'm going to jump up here, jump out back and see if there's any hidden doors in the back here. It doesn't look like there are on this one right here. So I think what we used to be able to do was to climb up on these things. But for some reason, my avatar doesn't like that. So just hit the home button and go back to Cyber City if you get stuck. But we want to go back and continue doing the insides, guys, because there might be some doors. So what I recommend now is when you spawn in, right, you're going to want to check the stuff that's behind all of these houses here to see if there's anything on the inside right now are there any doors on the inside here there actually might be one back there so we want to figure out a way to get up there and probably is just jumping on things to actually get up over here is the easiest bet now it used to be a lot easier like i said we used to be able to climb up these little things right here but for some reason i, I just can't seem to do it guys so i think i can just jump onto this building and head to the back here and run straight back and here it is so we have number 52 back here it's hidden in this door dude that was a skeleton right there 52 is right there but now that we're in the back alleys let's follow it all the way over as far as we can go and it looks like we reached the end yet again so we need to get out of here so let's go ahead and try to jump up on this thing right here uh if we can do it i don't really know might have to reset once again because i know there's some more in the back guys let's just reset because it's a little bit easier to actually reset it like that so now that we're here Let's go back to where we originally started from because we're going to go in the back here. There's a door or two back there as well in the cyber city. You do want to make sure to get so you should be able to just hop your way up on one of these structures right here so you can finally get to the back and here we are. So now we want to pay close attention because there's a door right back here. That's number 53. Keep on walking back because you might come across a door that's not so obvious in the back area here. So let's keep on looking right here. Yep, there's one right here. See this? Number 54 is right there on this structure right here. And I think that's pretty much it for right here. Okay, so the next area we want to hit up is the Mayan world, guys. Now, I scouted this a little bit earlier. There's no doors at all by the temple, by that thing over there. All of them are going to be right down here when you head in. Go down to the right and down the big stairs to these seven huts that are basically down here. This is where you're going to get seven. So just start on one end, work your way across, and in no time, you will go ahead and pick them up. There's 55, there's 56, 57, uh, 58. Did I get it? Yep, I got it. 58. We got 59. Oh, we're getting close, guys. We're getting real close. 
This one up here should be number 60 right here. 60, all right. And 61, guys. Beautiful. So we only need three more. Let's go back here. And we want to go inside the temple to get the last three, guys. The temple has them all right here in the center house. So there's one on the bottom of the, the little house right here that was 62. There's one in the back, 63, and 64 is on top. So what you can do is jump on top of this thing right here, jump onto the wall, right? And then when you get over to the wall, you can jump over here and make your way on top and hit number 64. Your trick-or-treating spree has ended. Or you earned the cosmetic pumpkin hat. Do you want to equip it now? Yes, I do. Dude, look at the pumpkin head right there. It's got my hat sticking out. It's a little bit goofy looking, but that's okay. If you go to the bags, you can see we now have the pumpkin hat next to my shark feeder hat. So you go ahead and click it on and put on the pumpkin hat, guys. So that was it. That's how you get all 64. The fastest way you can get again. It's the castle, Egypt, Cyber City, and then the temple and Mayan areas, guys. I have all the counters in the the video for you but there's more areas you can get them in the winter zone uh atlantis borak arena cap them all out guys maybe we'll pop another video and see if there's any secrets with all those in the next one guys but this is how you get the pumpkin hat so if this was helpful go ahead like the video comment below if you got this and remember guys until next time stay positive keep swinging and have a great rest of your day Bye bye